guys, it's Caleb. I want to do a quick little tutorial on Tasker and two of my favorite plugins for Tasker, that being Auto Voice and Auto Input. With those two plugins combined with Tasker, a user could do just about anything, quite literally. So um, let me show you guys what I'm talking about. Let's see, I'm going to open up Tasker and we're going to build a new profile. And we're going to go step by step, show you how easy it is, and then I think you'll realize that you're able to go off and do lots of other cooler things on your own, possibly even make your own app. You know, I, I created my own app recently, this Ambient 360, and it's built off a lot of those, um, created some scenes. It's uh, amazing what Tasker can do. So um, let's go create a profile, and we're using Auto Voice, so. Basically, I want Tasker to do something when it recognizes my voice saying something. And then auto input. So let's say once it hears a phrase, then I want it to maybe open an app and do something for me. So with that in mind, what would be a good example? Let's say I want to uh, hear a song on the radio and I don't want to have to take my phone, open it, scroll through my app drawer, find SoundHound, click on the button, I want to be able to just to basically say, what's this song? And then it automatically just do everything for me. That's what you can do with those two plugins plus Tasker. So let's do that. So we need to create a profile. Now when you create a profile, what's the event? There needs to be an event. I want to do something. So I'm gonna click event. And we're gonna do a plugin. Again, we're using auto voice. Now, there's lots of plugins here. You're not going to have all these unless you've got lots of other plugins yourself. But the one that we need to use here is Auto Voice Recognized. So I'm going to click on that. Now I need to configure it. Click on the pencil. Typically I'll do speech uh, speak filter. So I'd click on that. And then I would say song. Like I'd let that be the keyword. Unfortunately, when I'm doing this recording, I can't do that. It won't allow me because it's using the microphone for the voice um, for the video. So I'll do command filter and I'll do this instead. So I'll just type song. And the reason I like speak filter is because then I know, you know, it recognizes me saying that word okay. But uh, I'll type it in for the purposes of this. And I'll use regex. And basically that just means I can say a whole string of sentence and so long as that word, buzzword, song is in there, it'll know kind of what to do. And you, know, you don't really need to do anything else beyond that. There's lots of other options, of course, you could play with, but for purposes of this, that's really all I need. Okay. We're good. Now, what I want it to do. Uh, I'm going to do a new task. I'm not going to bother with naming it. So when I say song, what is it that I want Tasker to do? First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put in a wait period in there just because my next step is for it to open an app. Watch app. Let's see. When I, what app do I need it to open? I need uh, SoundHound. Let's see. Let me pull that up. <laughs> That's all I need. Um, let's see, and actually, I did that reversed. I'm gonna have it open the app, and then I'm gonna have it wait just for a little bit. Now, when it opens the app, it's not gonna just find that song for me. I need to press something on the screen. But now, you remember, I wanna automate everything, so that's where the auto input plugin comes in. So I'm gonna click plus. I'm gonna go back to plugins, and I'm gonna use auto input, and I'm using the auto input action. Click on that and configure. Now there's lots of ways of doing this. I've been using the easy setup. I just like the way it kind of walks you through it. So I'm gonna click easy setup. And you'll see, basically it tells you, go to the app, get on the screen you want. Go here, open the app, boom. All right, so this is what the app opens to by default. So I'm gonna go ahead and click add and now it's saying selection mode activated basically touch 
on the screen where you want Tasker to touch for you automatically. So baby steps here. I've basically I've got Tasker when it hears song to open Soundhound. Now when Soundhound opens, what do I want it to do? I want it to touch what's that song. So I'm gonna click there. Boom, done. Now all I need to do is click accept. It'll run in the background, do everything for me. And when it finishes, basically it says just touch Tasker. And it's captured all the field elements. And this is kind of an, a way for you to be a little more specific about what you want it to touch. Um, you notice it picked up the text in that button and said, what's that song? I could do that. I could do touch here, but this looks much more specific, this uh, element, and it's got the start button. So I'm going to click there. And then it gives you the other options. I mean, you could long click, copy, paste, whatever, forward scroll. It's kind of amazing everything he's put into this, but all I need to do is click. So I'm going to click on that and click my little checkbox. And I don't need to do anything else in there. There are other options, but I'm going to just go back. And so I think we've got everything we need. You can click on the uh, play button if you want to test to make sure it works. Do that. All right, clearly it's working. And again, it's probably because of my microphone's being used here. I'm gonna go back to Tasker. There we go, boom. All right, there we go. And I'm kind of an A-type, I'm gonna rename this. I'll just call it song. And I actually have already created this one, so now that you saw how I did, I'm just going to delete that one. As you can see, just in case you're questioning, I mean, it is pretty much the exact same thing here. Um, oh, you know, on this one, I did the weight in the wrong place, too. So there you go. All right, so I don't think I'm going to be able to make this work uh, while I'm recording but I can show you functionality how it would work. Um, I've got auto voice in my Pi Launcher. You can see it there, right there. So if I were in my car, all I need to do is double tap my screen, hit cut on, tap on. What song? Oh gosh, apologies. Again, I'm using my mic, but all I'd have to say then is, you know, what song is this? And it would immediately open Soundhound it'd wait that, you know, two tenths of a second, and then it clicked that button for me, it'd start listening. It's just that easy to do stuff. So anyway, just a, a very basic example of using Tasker and those two plugins. But I think that once you realize how you're able to automate everything and use your voice or use uh, auto input to basically navigate the screens for you and press buttons automatically, imagine if you had 10 or 15 screens, apps, presses that you could do in the matter of, you know, a second or two versus having to do it yourself. I guess that's the whole point. So anyway, uh, if you guys have any questions, feedback, uh, I'd love those in the comments. Would love it if you guys share it. I'll put the links to the three apps in the description. And if you guys subscribe, that would be wonderful. Thank you all.